Hi, this is another one of my weekly growth videos for a King of Avalon. We are currently still in the middle of the ultimate alliance conquest. Actually, I should be plundering now, but I've been uh, yeah, I've been traveling a lot and I'm a bit uh, tired and I'm afraid if I wait until this event is over, I won't make a video anymore today. So I just try to do it now. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, get to it. For the heroes, haven't done haven't done much special. Just uh, yeah, try to add a little bit to Tristan, Sir Kay, and Sir Baldwin. Um, oh, let's also. I'm going to uh, attack my farm again so that we can look at my my stats. I've done quite some fighting for the Ultimate Alliance Conquest as well, but mostly, uh, yeah, I've been trying to push things, uh, pu push other players from the buildings, and then you get some additional boosts. So that's not really reliable to show my boosts. So I just try to um, go for my farm again. Uh, one of my farm accounts. Okay, uh, I will just probably keep doing that with the heroes. Um, I haven't really focused on getting one of them to more stars, but it's also a bit, um, yeah, I mean the ones that I could get to more stars are Sir Balan and Sir Lamarok. Sir Balan, I am a bit afraid, yeah, ultimately I might get that uh, gold. Um, let's uh, go here, the hero, no, the ultimate, it could be, ultimately it could be that I get this King Arthur soul. Then it feels like a bit of a pity to, yeah, put focus on Sir Balin because I would want to use this one anyway. If we, if you get this one and you get this three times Royal Return Bonds, then yeah, it's actually quite interesting without it. That's also a bit, um, yeah, a bit of a difficulty currently. I don't have this Elaine of Carlo yet, but even if I would have this Elaine of Carlo without also having uh, the uh, King Arthur's soul, it's not really that interesting because only if you have King Arthur's soul do you get this uh, March capacity boost of 25,000, uh, which is very nice, of course. But if you don't have the complete set, and I do have, uh, uh, let's see, I do have Sir Baldwin, but I don't have Elaine of Carlo, I don't have King Arthur's soul. But if I have only one of them, yeah, it's not really that interesting uh, yet. Especially, I mean, if I do have this Elaine of Carlo now, uh, I would miss out on the Lady Isabel uh, boost that I would get because it's a master of strategy, this Elaine of Carlo. So that would, uh, yeah, this Isabel gives me an important 23k um, March capacity boost, very important. Uh, in my eyes, so yeah, a little bit other potentially other boost that I could get, not so interesting. So ultimately, but anyway, I probably at some time will first focus to, to get Sir Lamarack to four stars. At this moment, I find it for li more likely that I keep with them, but it's also not, I mean, it could very well be that that is also a slot Master of Arms where they introduce a new hero sometime soon. So it's difficult. Uh, do I really want to spend? Yeah, potentially a lot of credits to get those heroes up. Also, I find those heroes to have yeah, quite limited boost benefits. So probably I'm just going to only assign hero XP for now and not uh, use credits to get more hero fragments, but use those credits for other stuff. Okay, a lot of talk about the heroes. Um, buildings. I haven't done much actually. I've mostly focused on getting my military tents up. I, I think that can't hurt. I can uh, train troops uh, faster. During the troop training event, I have to spend less um, uh, less speed-ups. I can uh, start more troop training uh, in advance for that uh, event as well. So yeah, that's been my focus. And yeah, the, also the thing is, it's, it's, it's already getting quite a lot, the, the resources that I need for this, almost uh, 1 million uh, iron, for example, but it's still it's still doable, and I'm saving up my resources, uh, yeah, to do some things, some building upgrade and research during the upgrade stage, and also for the big one, 
which is stronghold 32 i'm slowly yeah, working towards the getting the noble badges requirement i did two ceremonies this week um, i emptied just emptied two of my farms so i'm actually getting quite close to the i, I have i have enough um, but yeah i also want to do some other stuff stuff first and everything is expensive i'm for example thinking about doing an upgrade of the storehouse i think i mentioned that in the last video as well but that's also quite expensive probably i'm still going to do it although i'm a bit late actually but okay that's uh, for the rest i might focus on some minor things actually because i don't want to spend my resources faster than i accumulated i thought i was accumulating it quite fast but yeah with everything being so expensive it's also not going so low oh, oh yeah one side remark i just realized yeah lately i'm I've, i thought i would need a lot more silver than iron because i was yeah focused on my um, stronghold upgrades and uh, and other building upgrades but actually for uh, research i still need a lot more iron relatively than silver so my move to remove all iron mines except two and uh, keep so many silver mines was not that uh, that great and i might say okay i'm going to tear down a couple of those silver mines and replace them with uh, iron mines might might do that at this moment yeah i don't really have spent enough resources i'm only using one building queue and i yeah I do have some extra builders so could uh, could start uh, doing that sometime uh, soon okay um that was more a bit of a side remark not really for the development of my account but uh, yeah just pointing out if you haven't done so yet that you might keep more iron mines for the prestige banners i did spend a little bit more on the range so that's already getting quite high now and the uh, the stables i still have some prestige banners but not uh, not that many uh, yeah the costs are getting quite uh, quite high and since i didn't uh, yeah didn't uh, want to upgrade the buildings that give damage and damage reduction boost because they did uh, for for the precise levels because they uh, yeah they cost a little bit too many resources in my eyes at the moment um, i i decided to use my prestige banners on those okay uh, for the research i by the way probably yeah that one is back let's see i should have everything focused on war so that's fine so i'm going to uh, attack which one was it this one just attack with three troops don't want to make it uh, burn too much um, let me see all the heroes were also assigned correctly yes so let's see how those stats are i haven't really i don't have the old report with me so maybe i should start doing that so that we can make a more fair comparison anyway while we're doing that looking at the research i have also here tried to save my uh, resources a bit I'm not sure whether it was smart probably i should have started uh, a big research uh, but a week ago with combat 2 research didn't do that so i don't have anything uh, cooking so to say for the upgrade stage of the gold event i've done yeah quite some small things in a uh, lot in development um, doing a bit of those projects at the end like hospital capacity fast heal train speed maybe not sure done some in economy um, yeah i haven't done a lot here so a bit of wood gathering for example I think also some food and wood production just some small projects i even did something in defense actually defense is not um, yeah trap i'm not so crazy about but i did do some city defender defense and city defender health which is actually quite nice if you're being attacked it also yeah get more expensive if you go down further down the tree so i have also stopped doing that didn't want to spend too many resources uh, on that um, I plan to do yeah, another batch of uh, researches uh, during the upgrade um, stage of the gold event so I'm saving research resources uh, for that 
and then I will probably focus mostly on combat and combat uh, 2. Eventually I want to do all the combat and combat 2, eventually I want to do all research, uh, but yeah, my main focus combat and combat 2, so I'm going to yeah focus on that during the upcoming upgrade stage of the gold event. Okay, my Death Seeker armor, um, as I mentioned during the last video, now that the yeah the new update that was released uh, about one and a half week ago made it a lot easier to get the rare material fragments. I was quite soon done with my Death Seeker, so I now have a full uh, Death Seeker set. What I don't have uh, yet is all of them. Uh, I still have to yeah I still have to get my armor enhanced to the first level for the rest I have everything enhanced and yeah I could use um, my main for that to get uh, for example the dragon essence from the spire loot I'm not doing that I'm doing that from my farms which is taking it a bit slowly but yeah I want to use my credits for other purposes it could hey, if you're you, you can get 80 a day which is quite nice and you can from doing uh, yeah, there are different ways to get steel actually but from doing ceremonies you can actually get a lot of uh, steel if you do a big ceremony you get uh, 900,000 uh, which is quite a nice amount but yeah I'm, for now I want to use those actually for uh, the noble batches although i feel it's quite uh, expensive to get to get only 70 but yeah i still want to focus uh, focus on that i have already done two maybe i'm going to do a little bit uh, more and for the rest uh, yeah also in the uh, the magic aspire the spire loot i each day i'm getting those noble batches 12 and for example also now in the ultimate alliance conquest i also have participated in that and get the individual for the individual rewards you also get a bit of uh, uh, dragon essence and also 10 uh, noble batches not a lot but if you can get those 10 extra every two weeks that is uh, nice of course um, so yeah I'm you just to get a long story short I'm using my farms to collect the dragon essence there and to collect some steel and transfer that to my main account via the goods exchange I'm close to having everything plus one and I enhance plus one and I'm just keep uh, keep going for the gemstones uh, the soul gemstones I have now have two uh, health soul gemstones and I have one uh, one of my attack soul gemstones is enhanced to level uh, six and the nice thing here I think I already mentioned that in the last uh, video. Actually, if you want, you can increase it further. And then you go to uh, from the basic soul gemstone. Let's go to the gemstone case. You actually jump to the precious soul gemstone level uh, 6. So that is uh, from the 69 here. You go to 79.5, which is still a reasonable amount. But it's just, yeah, it's getting expensive anyway to get, even to get from 5 to 6 was already expensive. And to get from, uh, yeah, 6 in basic to 6 precious is also very expensive. But uh, yeah, first I will try to get everything to level 6 anyway, which is going quite slow. I guess it depends a bit on the events, the special events that are active, whether you can... Yeah, go uh, further you can go faster at this moment it's not going very fast and I probably keep going yeah attack and then health and then defense that seems to yeah be the best order for me so for the rest in the I've already mentioned a bit about the spire loot so what I'm doing first focus is those noble batches after I'm done with those what I have left, I spent on the basic soul gemstone, and after what I've left, after that, I spent on dragon XP. Dragon XP is also very, uh, yeah, very useful. Let's jump to that, and if I even have more, could uh, could happen. Then I go for the assault points and maybe guardian points, but probably, if I have more, I save it up. So if you can level up your dragon further you can also get cavalry damage and bowman damage with this cavalry claw 
uh, three and uh, flaming arrows three so that's actually quite nice but you really need to level up your dragon quite far and I'm, I'm working on that slowly um, it's not going very fast but that's uh, yeah that's the goal and I have already now have some developed past uh, level 21 which also gives some it gives yeah some nice bowman attack extra and cavalry attack extra so it's 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 quite uh, quite nice and if I can I also want to f uh, get my march of fury further that's also a very nice one which gives about 2000 for each level depending on the uh, yeah the enhancement of the march of fury okay I'm um, jumping here and there a bit but that's my focus for the dragon and yeah, normally I use the lucky shot to get my assault points I already did that this week uh, yesterday I got quite some assault points that was quite uh, quite nice for the emblems and the prestige uh, statues I just keep uh, keep buying them every day and keep transferring what I can from my uh, farm accounts to yeah, try to uh, upgrade them, enhance them, or whatever it's called, as fast as possible. Uh, okay, my stats. So if we look at troop attack, troop defense, troop health should should be a bit up from the equipment. Um, yeah, my stats. A few weeks ago, I just had one touching 600. Now almost everything is already in. 600 only infantry attack but that's not really an important attack and i will just keep uh, yeah keep pushing that ahead and try to get those uh, up for my damage and damage received i have not uh, made much made much progress there so that's not really interesting i would say um, yeah that's um that's it let's see what's coming in here no. oh yeah that was because i withdrew my troops um yeah for the rest this week the violence was active again that can really be quite nice violence especially if you're able to um, yeah get within the top 50 for me i i yeah in the previous i always ended just outside the top 100 and now i participated of course only one time because it was just uh, reintroduced but also ended up outside the top 100 so not uh, even close to top uh, 50 which is a bit of a pity because those prices uh, probably I can still uh, yeah as those prices for the top 50 of course even better is even higher is even better but uh, that's probably only for the big spenders but you can choose one of those rewards if you yeah, reach top um, 50 and I'm example thinking yeah 175 noble batch is very nice 3600 dragon essence also very nice and maybe you like other things as well that you can get so that's really yeah really quite uh, quite nice but yeah I was was not able to get there not coming close maybe yeah somebody has advice on what to do previously I always was just gathering on level one tiles this time I went for level two tiles but that's yeah very competitive and there are still a lot of players that are that are stronger than uh, than me and that's just uh, yeah uh, uh, they attack attack your castle although most of them have a hard time with that but they just attack you on tiles and against their marches i cannot really defend the the tiles uh, so that's uh, quite tough but if anybody has some advice on how to do better for a player my strength in the violence that's much much appreciated okay uh, that was it for uh, the growth video and growth tips for this week I will just uh, yeah keep going as I have uh, have mentioned if you have any questions or any tips in general about growth that's also much appreciated and thanks for watching the video